Have you seen the new Toyota Century SUV? The 2024 Toyota Century SUV is taking a whole new direction. The Century has been the leading light in Japanese luxury since 1967. The Japanese Rolls Royce is in its one, two, third generation, and Toyota's decided the Century should be transformed to suit a modern customer base. Artist Rostislav Prokop rendered us what he thought the Century would look like. Think it's better than the one Toyota revealed? In terms of body, it has a fairly imposing signature Century front grille. I I honestly thought the grill would be a lot bigger, like a lot of the competition. Looks like you can choose carbon fiber or aluminum or chrome accents at the bottom portion of the front bumper as well as on the sills. Your Century can have electrochromatic glass if you'd like. For the rear passengers, you can choose the wide opening door or the minivan slider door. You'd think suicide doors would be an option. Toyota is continuing with the same subdued and sensible design language that has featured on previous Century generations. There has never been a low-powered or entry-level Century before now, and there's no reason to think this SUV would be any different. The older generations had big V12s, but with concerns over the polar bears and gas prices, it's going to be a library silent plug-in hybrid. The GR badged PHEV likely has the 425 horsepower 5 liter hybrid V8 from the Century sedan. Hey, 512 pound feet of torque ain't no joke. Let's hope it gets that engine. The 2024 Century SUV will probably weigh a considerable amount more than the sedan, so don't be surprised if acceleration is slightly slower. It should still be more than brisk enough to compete with the likes of the Bentley Bentayga and the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. Customers of the Century are mainly interested in unrivaled comfort. It's a chauffeur's ride, so the back seat of the Century should be on another level. Massaging rear seats, like in a nail salon, are expected. It's very customizable, so wool trim seats should be an option with individual temp control. It's not that we don't like leather seats, but you don't always want that leather rubbing feeling. And this thing promises to be a hotel on wheels, real easy to sleep in. Doesn't look like there will be the adaptable front passenger seat allowing you the full lie down service. Too early to tell for sure. We hope the Century seats feature a cutaway design, allowing for the upright portion to fold down, enabling the rear occupant to fully stretch their legs out. Riding behind shotgun should be on par with the big bad British SUVs though. On top of that, the headrest should also swing down, allowing those in the back to have a clear view of the road ahead. A maxed out 2023 LX600 is around $150,000. The 2018 Century Luxury Sedan is still $180,000. I'd suspect the 2024 Century SUV to MSRP for around $190,000 starting. What do you think? Will the 2024 Century be a better deal than the V-Series Escalade? Greater than the Navigator Black Label? Better than the Cullinan? The Bentega? The 2023 Mercedes Maybach GLS Class? Our Century Render? Time will tell, and beauty's in the eye of the beholder. For now, all we know is what it looks like, and it's pretty handsome.